every day I wake up and like, hey, I own a restaurant. It's just one of those things where you have to mentally focus on everything that's going on around you in the food world. And that's what got me because I could balance all that. I can absorb all that in and take more. Clearly, Sean's bigger than life. He knows what he's about, he knows what he's an expert at, and he likes to talk about it. You know, in, in a couple weeks, this will all be uh, fully developed uh, from what Drew was saying, so I'm really looking for the tomatoes. Um, I know heirlooms are gonna be closer to fall, um, but I'm really looking for is the cucumbers. Let's see when those come out. It's kind of a big deal when you start hearing about things on Yelp because people follow Yelp. Yelp has the power to make or break a place and to see Sean Tibbetts on, uh, as one of the places you have to eat in the U.S. Um, on Yelp, that just, I realized that was going to be a big deal and people started coming for that one. He started booking up a lot faster, he started getting, uh, he started getting those, uh, those little comments from like, ah, we could probably fit you in. and. He wasn't trying to be anything, but it just, he got bigger than, than he was, and it was obvious. Yeah, so we started about six years ago, um, working actually with a friend of Sean's uh, and growing for restaurants. And uh, since then, we've been doing CSAs and farmer's market sales, and we grow a little bit of everything here. We do all organic practices, no sprays, no pesticides. We are harvesting some Swiss chard. Um, on Thursdays, we do a farmer's market right outside, and we freshly harvest for the day. And yeah, that's what we're doing. What I do, well, uh, like I said, everything here is pretty much locally sourced. Um, so you can eat my bread bowls that come from Wild Wheat Bakery out of Kent. My microgreens there are Filbert Acres out of Puyallup. Is when you eat here, you're supporting 10 other local small businesses, people that need uh, support more than, you know, the, uh, the top uh, competitors out there that are California-based. You know, it's like uh, Charlie's Produce, it's California. You know, why, what, what are we doing? You know, you got a whole bunch of farms in Puyallup that need love, support, you know, we gotta keep them going. He's all about helping the community here. Every time I thought he was exaggerating about something, it was just really weird because I'd come in at a random time and he was making bags for the homeless, uh, bags of food for the homeless, or he was doing to-go meals for a charity that ended up coming by and picking them up while I was there. So it was like every time I thought that he was a little bit too good to be true kind of thing, like someone would come and prove that he was legit. Well, I'll, what I typically do is I'll give Drew a list of things I need that he carries. So I'm gonna work my restaurant around what he has available on his farm for fresh food. Um, so right now he's uh, getting me an abundance of food to take to the restaurant, which I'm gonna be um, playing with this week because I have a new menu launching in a couple weeks. So I'll be utilizing most of my food from the farm. <laughs> Cooking began with me at the age of 19 years old. Got a job at a place called Tacoma Golf and Country Club out in Lakewood. The chef took me under his wing. I started off as a dishwasher there. Uh, taught me everything there is to know about basic food, so I did all that. I just fell in love with food. Just how it's prepared, how much time it took, the execution of the product, uh, the management of product, the rotation of product, 
uh, how it uh, made the sole feel after you ate it. So this is uh, Canadian lobster. This is on the same inlet as the Maine lobster tail. The Canadian lobster, believe it or not, is a lot cheaper than Maine. Why? Same inlet because it's a different country. So if you're on this Maine lobster fest, it doesn't matter. Just buy Canadian lobster from the same inlet and you're good to go. I became very passionate about it and learned everything I can. Dining at Tibbetts, uh, the first thing I saw when I walked in there is I always look at the kitchen when I walk into a place and I look back there and there basically was no kitchen. It was like two propane camp burners cooking the most amazing also, stuff I've ever smelled. This is what runs my kitchen. Then I looked at the menu and saw the lobster bomb, which is champagne soaked lobster. And I'm not gonna not get champagne soaked lobster when I see it on a menu. So yeah, that was my first experience there. I think anything's good with bacon, so. You got bacon going with lobster and you can't go wrong. You can literally have bacon pretty much any ingredient on planet Earth and it tastes good, so. <laughs> it was totally worth it. Came in with the journalist. Um, Sean sat down with us, told us his story. Uh, who would have thought 40 jobs later in 30 years that here I am today? <laughs> well, I was uh, born in 1973. My father was Army. Um, I was born in Nuremberg, Germany with one lung in an incubator for about nine months. Then they moved me to Puyallup, Washington. My family history is a Native American from the Aleut tribe. In the fourth grade, I memorized the whole Gettysburg Address uh, speech from uh, the great Abraham Lincoln and recited it at uh, Fawcett Elementary School in front of the whole fourth grade class. Um, word for word, didn't miss a beat. And I was like, man, I'm smart. Um, that's how I felt. And then the next year, my mom threw me on Ritalin, the short-term um, uh, ADHD medicine, which gave me some severe side effects. So I moved out of my house at the age of 14 because uh, I got tired of being on the, the drugs. Lived on couches, um, jumped around friends' houses, uh, lived on the streets, homeless. Um, my biggest thing is that I didn't want to be on the pills anymore. I didn't want to um, have mood swings anymore. I wanted to find out what it was like to be a real person, to have a real thought, you know what I mean? To make decisions for my own and not be depressed or um, under any kind of medication at all to break free from that. And uh, um, it's been a rough road. I still deal with some uh, repercussions of uh, uh, what the pills done to me. Um, mentally, I still have memories of that. And I'd go into shut down, uh, I'd be a recluse. Um, you know, I'm not perfect by any means and I don't claim I, I have my flaws. Um, but, you know, you only can be the best you you can be every day. Some of the best mushrooms in Washington State come from Adams. Real mushrooms for real people, right there. Let's have this sprinkling brown sugar. What are we uh, cooking right now? Uh, I'm just doing a mushroom app uh, with Adam's mushrooms. Uh, I'll make a uh, uh, lemon thyme cream, um, and then uh, we'll finish it up. But it should be really tasty. Um, I've got my favorite taste tester here. Uh, I brought him along. This is Jonathan. Hi, John Jonathan is a mushroom fanatic, so I like to call him a fun guy. <laughs> Taste is everything. Flavor is everything. Um, presentation, how it's presented, is everything. 
Um, and that's what keeps people coming back and, uh, and wanting a different sample of this and that, or if not the same. But uh, my boy Sean here has got it hooked up. My brother from another mother is on is on the task force with uh, beautiful things in life and uh, moving forward. Mmm, 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 just delicious. You won't get no other better taste than this. I'd say Sean Tibbetts is an alchemist. He takes things that are rough and turns them into something golden. Like he takes these raw ingredients and turns them into something amazing using very, very little. Um, just those, those butane camp stoves in his, in his kitchen. He's good at making things rough into something beautiful.